It all started when we toxic crusaders were getting some well-deserved playtime with a friendly game of football. Ouch! Whoa, dude! That was my hand that got bit. Sorry, it's your call. That's better. Yeah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, Toxie, what is it? My traumatons are signaling that something evil is nearby. Jeepers, and I was hoping it was my new perfume. No, Yvonne, this is something even worse. Uh-oh, what have we here? It's some kind of insect. Maybe it's a free sample of a new product, Bug in a Bag. In which case... Speaking of bugs, Tsar Zoster, ruler of Smogula, was driving Dr. Kilimov buggy. Kilimov, I'm sick and tired of your ineptitude when it comes to handling the toxic crusaders. Do you have any idea how many times you've screwed up? I'm not an accountant, your larva ship. I'm a ruthless interplanetary invader. Not anymore, you're not. Your replacement should be arriving momentarily. You're replacing me with a bag of garbage? Not garbage, garbage! Give me garbage to you! Yeah, don't worry, boss. I'll get rid of this talking termite! A talking termite, am I? <laughs> Ruthless interplanetary invader. Kill him off. From now on, Garbage is in charge. But your high and mightiness. Don't argue with me, Kill him off. Just follow orders. Ooh, I've got to be holographing off now. I'm taking my wife to the movies and I don't want to miss the cartoon. Kill him off. You fouled up again. That's why I'm taking over this operation. What operation is that, General? if I didn't already know. The most frightening, blood-curdling plan I've ever conceived. The invasion of the Bitty Snatchers. Even as we speak, hundreds of my crack infiltrators are arriving in Tromaville, each one individually sealed for your protection. Each infiltrator will take a nip of a sweet little gray-haired grandmother. You, Bob, scare you! You're bending! It will then genetically duplicate the old bitty, creating a perfect clone, except with more arms. The system still has few bugs in it. Oh, my stars and girls! And that, kill him off, is my plan in a nutshell. In a nutshell is where it belongs. But why, little old ladies, General? <laughs> Think about it. Who would ever suspect some sweet blue-haired grandmother is actually a smogulin infiltrator? I hate to admit it. It's an old trick, but it just might work. Your job is to make sure that the windows of every old lady in town are broken, so that my infiltrators can enter their homes and become their clones. Yeah, yeah, we'll take care of it. Until I can figure out a way to take care of you. Just think. Soon my biddies will control the cities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big deal. While all this was going on, I was at Mom's house for our regular Wednesday night dinner and lecture. Toxie, darling, don't slurp your soup. And sit up straight, you'll grow all crooked. Mom, I'm hideously deformed, remember? That's no excuse for bad posture. Uh-oh, there go my traumatons. Something evil is afoot. Whatever it is, it can wait. First you'll eat something, and then you'll save the world. All right! <laughs> Only 212 more houses to go! What was that noise, darling? There's a humongous rock in my soup. All right, so I'm not the greatest cook in the world. No, Mom. Someone tossed it in through the window. Now, why would anyone want to do a thing like that? I don't know, but I have a feeling it has something to do with the main plot of this story. I was right, because at that very moment, Bonehead and Psycho were breaking all the windows at the Bitty City Retirement Village. Thanks for the great dinner and the nagging, Mom. I'll come by and fix your window tomorrow. Bring lots of Band-Aids! You know what a klutz you are! Children, they fill your life with joy. Hmm, this reminds me. I haven't made matzo balls in ages. 
No wonder my traumatons were acting up. Little did I realize that my very own mom was about to be the next victim of... The Invasion of the Bitty Snatchers. Oi! Tomorrow, when Toxie comes to fix the window, I'll ask him to bring some of Junkyard's flea powder. Huh? Where did you come from? And where did you buy that dress? No! Stop! Hold on! Mom was being carried off by her own clone. The only good part was, I couldn't make out a single word she was saying. And now, these messages. We now return to the Toxic Crusaders. General Garbage's plan was right on schedule. All over Tromaville, his infiltrator clones were carrying their innocent bitty victims to a place of unspeakable evil. Mayor Brody's office at City Hall. Ha-ha! My infiltrators have arrived and right on schedule. Pay attention, kill them off. You're about to see a group of tough, highly disciplined troops in action. <laughs> What are you doing here? I'm not your mom, you fat, sweaty, wart face pud! That's funny, you sound just like her. I'm your mom, you fat, sweaty, wart face pud! I can't believe you let them treat your poor old mother like this! I told you to move to Florida. Rhoda, you bum! When my son Toxie hears about this, he'll tattoo his tutu all over your tum-tum! Forget it, darling, you're wasting your breath. Enough of this! Lock up your originals and report back here for briefing! More schlepping? Oi! And this one weighs a ton! Just do as you're told! Troops, it's time for Operation Kvetch! Now get out there and nag, criticize and complain! I want this town cleared in 48 hours now! Get moving! General, darling, couldn't we stop for some Danish and coffee, hmm? The answer is no! No forward! Forward! Left! Left! I left my kids my money! Right! Right! I they never even right! There, kill him off. After a couple of days of non-stop whining, Tromaville will be ripe for a smogulant invasion! Yeah, but what if the Toxic Crusader's strange mutant abilities let them defeat the infiltrator bug? And the real biddies bust out of jail and kick butt on the fake biddy. Kill him up. What is this blisterhead babbling about? Ignore him, General. I always do. And see where it's gotten you. Talk about bad timing. Mother's Day was coming up, and since none of them had mothers of their own, Yvonne and the guys were sitting around discussing what to get my mom. I think flowers would be nice. And upset Tromaville's delicate ecological balance? Oh, no way. How about a couple of cases of raw hot dogs? It's a gift that keeps on giving. I know! We'll buy her an encyclopedia! Forget it, dude. She's too old to ride any kind of cycle. Hi, Yvonne. What brings you to the toxic dump? I just came over to help the boys pick out a Mother's Day gift for your mom. Did you say... Toxie, what's going on? Yeah, what's shaking? I mean, besides you. Thanks, Mop. I needed that. What happened to you, Toxie? I don't know. When I heard the word M-O-M, -M, I went into full traumaton alert. Which means... That something awful has happened to Mom. <laughs> See? It happens every time I say the word Mom. <laughs> right. We get the point. Let me say it another way. Fellas, you know who is in serious trouble. I must go find her. Toxie! While you're looking for you-know-who, keep an eye out for Mom! <laughs> Sorry. Meanwhile, the infiltrator clones began driving the good people of Tromaville out of the city with their constant nagging. You stole like a hippopotamus with a sinus condition. Not only that, but you dropped crumbs all over the carpet. No one was safe from the endless nagging. Not even Lloyd and his family. Uh, the other thing, is it too much to ask that you feed my grandchildren a proper diet? Nutrition is very important. A five-year-old can't live on junk food and television, you know. 
It looked like Operation Kvetch was a complete success. Soon there'd be no one left to defend Tromobile against invasion but the Toxic Crusaders. Well, gentlemen, it looks like Operation Kvetch is a complete success. Soon there'll be no one left to defend Tromobile against our invasion. Except the Toxic Crusaders. The who? The Toxic Crusaders. A group of hideously deformed creatures of superhuman size and strength. Ah, they're no match for my highly trained infiltrators. Mayor Grody, I need a roadblock. Aye, aye, General. You came to the right person. You want the block road, not a block head. Blah. One day I'm gonna rip your android head off and use it for a bowling ball. Believe me, he'll never miss it. Mop and I were on the way to you know who's house to check things out when suddenly here came Mayor Grody's limo and headed straight for me. Young man, you're in big trouble. You mean aside from being a toxically disfigured mutant? Worse, as the head of the Biddy Committee to keep Promoville pretty, you and the other toxic crusaders have been declared too ugly to be allowed to live within the city limits. What exactly does that mean? It means you and your toxically mutated friends are being deported. Uh, I guess it could be worse. To Siberia! No, it couldn't. <laughs> My mom's on that committee. I bet if she were here, she'd have something to say about this. You're darn right she would. Mom, what happened to you? You grew two more arms. So, what's the big deal? One year when you were little, you grew two more feet. Mom, tell me you don't want me to leave. Siberia is that way. Now get going. Okay, Mom. If that's what you really want, I'll go. This is so sad. I think I'm going to cry. Good thing there's a commercial coming up so I can blow my nose. And now, these messages. We now return to the Toxic Crusaders. After Mom broke my heart, I had to go back to the Toxic Dump and break a few of my own. Siberia! That's what Mom said. And you know me, I never disobey my mom. After that came the saddest thing I ever had to do. Say goodbye to my girlfriend, Yvonne. Hi, Yvonne. Bye, Yvonne. Jeepers, that was a short visit. This isn't a visit, Yvonne. It's goodbye. The Toxic Crusaders have to move to Siberia. It's some new law about us being too ugly. How cruel. With all those biddies driving everyone out of Tromaville, it's gonna be awful dead around here. Maybe I'll leave town, too. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you come to Siberia with us? Nah, it wouldn't work for my songwriting career. Nothing rhymes with Siberia except hysteria. Now, Miami, there's a great town to write songs about. You got your Sammy and your Hammy and Mammy, not to mention Clammy and Alabama, and in a stretch, Salami. So there it was. I was going to Siberia, but my heart was on its way to Miami. Blast it! General Garbage's crackpot plan is actually working. People are leaving Tromaville in droves. You should be happy, boss. We've been trying to clear out Tromaville for this entire series. Yes, but we were supposed to do it, not some one-shot guest villain. Yeah, if General Gabar succeeds, we're out of a job. I never thought I'd say this, but we need the Toxic Crusaders. Ew, gross! Forget it. Toxie's mom's clone kicked them all out of Tromaville. They're moving to Siberia. Ew, gross! I'll never understand why that hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength always listens to his mother. I want you to bring the Toxic Crusaders to Island City. If we're going to defeat Garbage and his army of biddies, we'll need their help. Finally, it was time to go. We were all kind of down in the dumps about leaving the dump. Well, it sure is sad leaving this old place. I got a lot of memories buried here. Me too. Yeah, only mine are bones, and I didn't have time to dig them up. Chin up, Crusaders. Siberia is a place filled with dumps, and one of them has our name written all over it. We still couldn't believe it. 
After all we'd done for the town, we were being deported just for being ugly. Barry now leaving for Siberia. All aboard! You wait till these jerks find out we're taking them to Island City instead. Yeah, are they in for a big surprise? Oh, Foxy, what if I want to call you or something? They have phones in Siberia. I doubt it. But don't worry, Yvonne. I'll keep in touch somehow. You think we could have some stirring music? Why, certainly, Toxie. No, not you. I mean, background music. Thanks. Yvonne, one day I'll return to Tromaville and change that anti-ugly law and get rid of Mom's extra arms and also turn off the bathtub, which I think I forgot to do. Goodbye, Yvonne. to a city that rhymes, call me. It was a voyage full of surprises. The first surprise was finding out that Siberia is only 10 minutes from Tromaville. Next stop, Siberia. All ashore that's going ashore. Dr. Tillamon, what are you doing in Siberia? This is Island City, you dodo. Toxic crusaders, I have a proposition for you. Defeat General Garbage's infiltrators, and you can return to Tromaville. Honest? Cross my fingers and hope to die. Yeah! yeah. 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 Way to go! But a strange thing was happening at Tromaville City Hall. Uh, Mona, take a letter. Um, how's this one? Fine. Now send it airmail. There! Oh, that must have been exhausting. Here. You better sit down for a while and catch your breath. Oh, Mr. Mayor, you certainly are an understanding employer. <laughs> While Grody and Mona were playing kissy face, there was a jailbreak in the works. And it was being pulled off by my very own mom. Okay, girls, no bulls in sight. Let's make a break for it. The last one to leave turns out the light. Let's go! A pretty break. No, ladies. Back in your cells. You too, Mom. Out of my way, Shuddy, or I'll dig you. <laughs> now that my mother's an escaped felon, I guess I can kiss my re-election goodbye. By the time we got back to Tromaville, all the citizens had fled. The place was a ghost town. The perimeter is all clear, troops. Not an infiltrator clone in sight. Uh-oh, it's an ambush. Shouldn't we be fighting back, Toxie? No way, Major Disaster. We can't hit little old ladies, even if they aren't little old ladies. Maybe you can't, Toxie, darling, but we sure can. Mom? I'll teach you to hit my baby boy, you old bug. Uh, you old bug? If I've got bunions, you've got bunions. That's what you get for wearing my dress. And the weirdest thing of all happened. Okay, ladies, let's nuke them with a blue henna hairspray. Ready? Aim, spread! The infiltrator clones shrunk back into little bugs. How humiliating. We hideously deformed creatures of superhuman size and strength rescued by mom and her friends. Well, your mother won't be able to help you now! Charge! Now those dudes we can handle. Toxic Crusaders, it's cleanup time! Now it's our turn to charge! Walnut trees, commence firing! Junkyard headed for the nearest fire hydrant. At first, I thought it was just all the excitement. Well, he had a different plan in mind. Mop, where are you going? Hairspray? But I don't have any hair, remember? Oh, I get it. That's using your mop head. What? What are you doing? Start the end of full retreat. Hey, wait up, General. You don't want to leave without your cute little buddies now, do you? Ah, <laughs> Back 
back in Island City, Dr. Killamoff was pretty happy, too. Yeah, pretty neat, boss, getting those toxic crusaders to do our work for us. Yes, and now, with General Garbage out of the way, guess who will be back in charge? You, boss. For one cycle, your prediction is correct. Hologram for Dr. Killamoff. Hologram for Dr. Killamoff. Ah, that will be our Zoster now. Congratulations, Killamoff. You're back in charge of Operation Tromaville. I figured you'd see the light. No offense, your Zarship, but you should never send a bug to do a ruthless interplanetary invader's job. Yeah, well, this time, don't screw it up. All the citizens returned to Tromaville, just in time for Mother's Day. Yvonne had written a special song for the occasion. And it goes something like this. Mom is the one who tolerates the toxic radiation you endured. She fills you full of knowledge. She sends you off to college. She's always there to bring you extra clothing and food. Her chicken soup will keep you going even through an acid rain. She sees you through the scrapes and bumps of living in a toxic dump. Seven in a toxic dump! <laughs> Just how you feel, Blobby. I got sensitive ears, too. We didn't have time to buy Mom a present, so instead we all pitched in and baked her a nice gooey cake. Oh, you darling boy. I wish you hadn't done that. Yeah! Like I said, I wish you hadn't done that. <laughs>